hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum! The moon landing didn't happen. Oh sorry, I farted. What? 500 pound girl, situation takes the old Amberlynn Reed. She's getting her shit together. You see me rolling. <laughs> hey, goals, how you doing? Let's recap our goals news vlogs. In a future video, I do want to do like a what I ate today on Ozempic. Um, if you guys haven't watched my last videos, I am on Ozempic and I'm currently on my second week. That would be interesting to see. She ate an average of 2200 calories and she didn't lose any weight. So it would be interesting to see how many calories she eats on Ozempic. The first week, uh, for a personal reason that maybe I'll share with you guys one day, the Ozempic did not work. But second week, it is working. No, what personal reason, Gore? That's not how medicine works. When I make the food, like I've been cooking all my meals, when I make the food and then I sit down to eat it, it takes me like 30 minutes to eat a small portion of food. Um, like every bite seems like a chore. It's very weird. I will say it's very weird. I think Ozempic is working. I want to believe her, but this just sounds like all the other times she described her newest diets and weight loss journey. It seems very textbook or exaggerated low. Also because my weight this week so far has literally been flying off kind of in a scary way. I'm just over here like damn. She is already setting up her quit strategy low. She will quit a Zempic because she is scared of being underweight. Just wait and watch low. Gaul you are not starvia and let's not go there. Anyways, I'm just having my protein shake. Why are you, a 500 pounds goal, drinking protein shakes? I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh my god, you're losing weight because of a medicine? How stupid. Like, you can't even do it by yourself. No, I can't. I can't. Gaul, no one will be saying that. At this point, we have lost all hope for you. As long as you are listening to your doctors, we are all good. Also, we have been knew that you can't lose weight on your own. You are the one needed convincing, though. I think maybe on YouTube for almost a decade, um, this is gonna be like, literally, I should be the walking, um, ad for Ozempic because if this works for Amberlynn Reed, then it's gonna work for anybody. I mean that's true Lowell, but I think she will find a way to mess this up and go back to her old ways. Can you imagine Amberlynn being on Ozempic ads after losing 300 pounds Lowell? That would be glorious. He said go. Okay, so here it is. When I tell you kind of cozy, I, I mean it, kind of cozy. I really, really love the sleeves. It adds a little bit of personality to it. Based on how it fits, based on how it feels, based on what it says, I'm gonna give this a 8.5. I mean it is difficult to find cute things for her body type, but I have to say I prefer these types of shirts over the horrible dresses she wears as shirts. I hate those. So I usually buy like every single poetry book because <laughs> I collect them. Kelsey Ballerini, Misha Collins, um, another Courtney Peppernell. Wait, I might have this one. She is on a Zempic, which is $1,000 a month, but she is out here wasting money on those poetry books and torrid halls. She should be saving money. She didn't even look at the titles or the content. She just grabs them and buys them. Okay, so now I'm looking for the vitamins, some type of melatonin sleep, something because I'm struggling falling asleep. It's like really bad. You are struggling because you don't move or do anything during the day. You don't get tired so you can't sleep at night. You need some kind of routine for you to fix your sleeping. I really like I'm getting my shit together. Like for the longest time, like I wasn't going to the doctor. I wasn't like taking care of my health. Like, and I'm just like slowly figuring it out. I know it's taken a hot minute, but we're getting there. Oh my God, this rain is glorious. Yes, it only took 30 years gall, but that's fine. I won't be harsh on her. Honestly, after she ignored the whole cancer symptoms, she should be at the doctor for every small thing. Here's before and after. Ta-da. I am obsessed. It looks so good. It does look good. Amberlynn always had decent decoration taste to me. She liked calm and clean colors. Okay, so melatonin taste test. So I get to take two of these and it's 15 calories, so I don't like that. Lil, she is the best. A 500 pounds gall is worried about 15 calories that is in the melatonin gummy. You can't make this shit up. Oh. Okay, I feel like I'm cheating on my diet. <laughs> she is serious galls, lol, I'm dead. How many calories have you eaten that you can't eat a 15 calories gummy? So there's this medicine that I should not be taking that I've been taking for over two years after they um, give me a hysterectomy for uterine cancer. So tomorrow's that appointment and not gonna lie, um, I'm a little frustrated. Even This oncologist is the one who gave me surgery. So she changed my life. Like she took cancer out of my body. So it's like, I'm so appreciative for her, but I'm also like confused because it's like, why did you prescribe me this medicine? So I'm hoping all answers are answered. What? She is trying to be nice in case there is any backlash from what she was saying. 
but I will be furious if I find out that I have been taking something that I shouldn't be. So you are justified Gaul, don't be scared of saying how you feel. Let's review her other vlog that she named Cancer Update, which is pure clickbait since she doesn't have cancer anymore, and she will update us on her appointment for the wrong medicine she was taking. Okay, so we're here at the cancer center and I'm sad. Okay, bye. Yes, let's act cute and corky at the cancer center. Melatonin. Okay, I don't remember my dreams. Very rare. But melatonin gave me some wild dreams. Like, me and my girlfriend were, like, in a car that, like, drove itself. I was getting, like, constantly ate by rattlesnakes. I don't know, and I had to, like, take them off of me and, like, throw them. Lo, you got to love Amberlin. She is describing her melatonin dream as if she took some psychedelics or something. Um, so I saw the nurse practitioner. Oh, by the way, my blood pressure was 111 over 70, so... Oh, oh, oh. Healthy queen. I'm just kidding. Um, let's try this real quick and then I'll keep going with the story time because this is insane. She is trying to convince us that she has ADHD. No one can convince me otherwise, lol. So the nurse practitioner, when I told her why I was there, I, I, she had fear in her eyes. She said you should not be taking this medicine because it has now increased the chances of you getting cancer again. That's terrible. How can they make such a mistake? What do you guys think? Should I sue them? <laughs> Malpractice? I don't understand. She was completely shocked. Yes, Gaul. Sue their ass, lol. I can't wait for court Lanera. And then, like, even when I went in there and they were, like, looking through my file, they had nothing on me. It was so strange. I I feel like, honestly, I'm partially in the twilight zone right now. No, no, we in a Netflix series. Is someone trying to slowly erase the iconic Amberlynn Rear from history? Uh, so I'm done with estrogen, you guys. I'm officially going through, like, actual menopause, and I'm just young. I know people even younger have gone through this, so I'm not saying, like, oh my god, this is the worst thing in the world. I mean, I'm not going to explain myself. I'm scared. This is a scary situation. I'm anxious. I'm worried. I think we all understand what you are trying to say, Gore. That's a huge change and the fear is understandable. The funny part is she has no problem saying she is nervous for trying new sushi or chicken, but she can't tell us about this. Amblin logic. So, Ozempic update. Still going good. This second week is definitely helping a lot with my appetite. Um, Ozempic I can definitely say works. Um, I can't find like a coincidence. Like there's nothing else that could possibly be uh, making me lose my appetite because it was almost like literally a couple hours after my second sh injection um, that I noticed the appetite suppressant. That's very good. I can't wait for the weight in. I think she mentioned that she was in the 470s. So that's very good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and also a lot of people keep asking like, why do you keep using 572 as your starting weight? Well, let me go to back to my live streams, which was literally just a year ago. It's hard to believe that live stream era Amberlynn was literally just a year ago. I, that's so weird to me. Um, I actually was three pounds away from 572.4. So just a year ago, I was at my heaviest and that is when I started my weight loss journey all over again. So it has taken me a year to lose 80, 90 pounds. Um, so that's why so many people are like, why do you use that weight? Which I understand asking that question, but that's why I hopefully that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense goal, but do whatever keeps you motivated. You stoked the weight loss for months then got back at it. So I would assume that you would start from there not six to seven months ago. And I just feel like I, I don't know, I just, I don't look very great. And, uh, we're not like that. We're trying to approach this, approach everything. Like, I just look kind of like miserable. Um, you know. But yeah, I was uh, literally at almost my heaviest here. Yes, you were miserable and you were shading Becky for leaving you every single stream lol but you can see the weight loss, especially in her face. I don't know if I want to do that quite yet, and I also want to tell you guys about my weigh-in, but it's like, ugh. It's nothing like insane. Oh my God, I have makeup on my finger. It's nothing insane or anything, but it's definitely progress, and it is the lowest I have been, I want to say in about six years. I mean, I was around this weight after um, my hysterectomy, but I gained all that back once I had the hysterectomy, which I said was going to happen. No, we don't like humble Lynn. We want to see you proud of losing one pound in a week, Gore. So I'm in the middle of my meal and I'm just sitting here and I had to share this with you guys. So today is Friday and I know to a lot of people this is not going to be like anything because it's like something you guys probably do on the daily. But so you guys have seen like my what I ate today videos. I eat takeout food daily, all day long, soda daily, all day long. I'm going to let you guys know that today is Friday and since Monday I haven't had a soda. I have cooked every single meal that I've put into my mouth, which is three meals a day. I have stayed under calories for every single meal. Yes, that's normal for majority of us, but we will give you props because we have seen you eat out daily and twice a day. So good job on doing this and keep on going. Oh, thanks, baby. I'm proud of you. Aw, she said she's so proud of me. I love you. So yeah, it's just been a really good change like mentally and physically it makes me feel so much better like doing these things and i truly feel like it's the ozempic helping me like i was talking to my girlfriend about it and she said that it's not the ozempic stopping me from ordering takeout because hi i could still do that for my i have to eat every day i eat every day but i'm choosing 
not to order takeout. It's not the Ozempic making me drink water and not drinking diet soda. You know, it's not the Ozempic doing that. Okay, let's not get cocky and ruin the journey, Gore. Maybe your mind knows how heavy takeout is. That's why you don't crave it as much. Yeah, she buys her own things and she buys me stuff. She's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Lol, we love a Becky shade, of course. Jade builds computers, so of course she can afford buying her own stuff, lol. What we do here is go back, 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 back.